Well, the report itself is not bad. It has very good data. But my concern mainly is the spin is being put on the report by the media and by the government because the report did not look at the racial identity of the men. It didn't look at on-reserve communities, and this headline makes it sound as though it's Aboriginal men, mostly Aboriginal men, who are killing Aboriginal women, and there's no data to support that belief. And that's also a belief that the minister put out a couple of months ago when he was in Alberta saying that 70% of Aboriginal women are killed by Aboriginal men. The report does not contain those numbers. The report talks about the different categories of perpetrators, it talks about whether they were a spouse or an acquaintance. So, for example, which kind of surprisingly, non-Aboriginal women are mostly killed by their spouse compared to Aboriginal women. On the other hand, Aboriginal women are more likely to be killed by an acquaintance, not by their spouse, not by a family member, more likely to be killed by an acquaintance compared to non-Aboriginal women. And now they may be acquaintances, but that doesn't mean they're Aboriginal, they could be non-Aboriginal. So the whole spin is totally misleading and is derived from, I don't know, great leaps in logic because the numbers aren't there.